All right, so I wanted to show you how to solve the questions in graphing parabolas, and it says state properties, okay? So graph the equation, it gives it to you here. I'm gonna show two ways to do it, okay? Uh, one way is gonna be if you have the TI-80 series calculator, which is right here on my screen. Uh, so you start by hitting Y equals, and we're gonna start typing in the function. So it's negative X squared plus four X plus five. Okay, once I hit the graph, it'll graph it for me, but it says you must plot five points, including the roots and the vertex. Using the graph, determine the vertex of the parabola. Okay, so we wanna find the vertex. For you being on the, um, on the 80 series, if that's what you are using, you hit second graph to get the table all right, and then we're gonna start plotting points. So it says five points. Now I don't, I don't know exactly if it wants more than that or it will accept more than that, but it definitely wants the roots. So to find the roots, you're looking for where the Y values are zero. So I see roots right here, negative one, zero. So I'm gonna put a point there. Here's another one um, going down here, five, zero, that's a root. So that goes here and then we need to find the vertex. Well, you'll notice how these points, look at the pattern. I'm gonna start plotting in between these. Since those are roots, let's plot between. We already saw the picture. We know it's gonna go up and down. So I'm gonna just start plotting these points and we'll see what happens. I'm gonna do the y-intercept. Uh, so zero, five, so zero, five. Then I'm gonna do one, eight. And then two, nine. Okay, and that's enough. So five points got the job done, but we had to make sure we got the roots and the vertex had to be there. So I happened to get the vertex on the last one. And you'll notice that, look on the, the chart over here, it goes, uh, they're increasing, increasingly gets to nine and then they decrease. So it's that up and then down pattern, okay? Um, so it says the vertex, what is the vertex? Well, it's gonna be one point and we put in the ordered pair for the vertex. What is this point here? Well it was two nine. So I put two and nine. Okay, submit answer and we got it correct. So that's the idea for these problems. So you're graphing always. Now, I don't know if you have the TI-80 calculator. So your alter alternate uh, method of doing this will be through Desmos. So go to desmos.com, hit graphing calculator and let's try a new problem. This is actually gonna be a lot easier, but you can't, I'm not allowing Desmos on my tests in class, but if you're, you know, if I'm not, if you're a distance learner, then, you know, I'm telling you not to, but you're distance learning, so there's that. All right, we're gonna plot this, so it's x squared, and this Desmos has this nice calculator, x squared plus 10x plus 24. Okay, there it is, so it wants, five points and the vertex. Now what's nice about Desmos is it already finds these for me. It's super awesome. So we can go ahead and put that negative six zero, the negative five, negative one, and then negative four zero. But remember we have to plot five points, okay? So how do I get more points? Well you can guesstimate these or on Desmos you hit this little gear at the top and you hit this table button there you go, you've got more points that you can look at. So we're gonna do, some of these won't fit. So I'm gonna do negative two is gonna be eight. And then how do I get negative three? Cause I'm missing that value. All you gotta do is type that in here, negative three. So negative three, three, and this should finish the problem. There it is. Okay, so determine the equation of the axis of symmetry. So it's an equation. So we know that we're gonna put that in there. What is the equation? Well, the axis of symmetry is a line that goes vertically through your vertex. And so it's actually, the axis of symmetry is always equal to the X value of that vertex. So we write our axis of symmetry equation, X equals, what is that X coordinate? It's five. And I think that's the example that, oh, well, oh, negative five, excuse me. Darn it, okay, negative five. Hopefully you saw that, um, I didn't catch myself but you would put negative five in there. Whoops, let me go back here. So negative five is what it is. All right, there we go, okay? So hopefully that's helpful.
Let me know if you still have any questions.